you talk about pure offensive talent that's in this upcoming draft, and it's it's pretty off the charts. You know, two elite offensive linemen, the three t- receivers I just did were amazing, and then you got a guy like Brock Bowers in the mix. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see where all these guys end up. But, yeah, I'm starting to tight ends today. I'm going to skip over offensive linemen for now because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to end up doing it because highlight tapes to grade an offensive lineman does not seem the seem the right way to go yet. It's not perfect for the other positions, but I, I, I still got to decide what I'm going to end up doing. But uh, just to take a look at the weights that I signed uh, for tight end, I, I put frame pretty big because – it's 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 a it's a really important aspect that I think you don't really see that many smaller tight ends succeed that much. Uh, athleticism, it's just really general, broad. You know, that's kind of a coverall. I'm just looking at general athleticism. I don't think it's as important to break it down into you know uh, short area quickness, burst, all that, long speed. I just put just straight up and strength. Um, you notice there's no real blocking on this. I, I just put dog as like just as he's have that finisher mentality, you know, as a blocker than strength. Um, because I think athleticism carries over the blocking, and I, I I think it 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 kind of serves as a catch all. Just general route running if if he's moves well. So yeah, we're doing Brock Bowers today. Uh, I think he's like six four two twenty, just a bit undersized, but obviously just a dynamic receiver. I mean, if you haven't heard who Brock Bowers is. You've been living under a rock for the past three years, so you know he's undersized for a tight end, but he's still built. So it's not like he's a fullback. It's not like he's skinny by any means. He's just a bit of a smaller frame, but he plays bigger than. Just I'm just saying, based off of watching him before, he plays a lot bigger than he looks like. He's just, you know, a guy like that right there is kind of fits the modern NFL, I think, where tight end is just kind of a glorified slot receiver. Sometimes he'll, he'll have to block in line, but not all the time. I'm hoping they have some blocking highlights on here because I feel like there won't be because he has so many receiving highlights. And I, I picked a longer one this time. I usually do the Prince highlights, but, you know, just dynamic with the ball in his hand, you know. Like, how many tight ends you see them throw, like, bubble screens to? Did you see how massive Darnell Washington is? Holy. Right there. Oh, my God. And the thing about his is more it's more of a stout frame. It makes him tougher to bring down cuz he's he's more has that compact build and it really makes him a real threat with the ball in his hands. And when he gets a head full of steam it's like, "Oh my god." So I think these are just his career highlights here. I want to watch him as a route runner. Yeah, that's not the one, though. Because right now, his hips look pretty good. His, his route running, him, him changing direction, looks really good when he has the ball in his hands. I just kind of want to see it before he has the ball in his hands. Like I said, he plays way bigger than, than he is. Like, Yeah, he, he's mismatched right there on a corner, but... He makes up for his lack of height, I think, with his, his leaping abil- ability. And, yeah, change of direction is not something that's all that important for a tight end like it is, but not like it is for a receiver. Like You're not going to be asking these guys to run a whole lot of double moves, but so far Brock looks like a guy that can. Like I don't think we've really seen him run anything.
Like, how many tight ends are you giving to end around to, you know? You see how developed his lower body is? It's like, that's why I, him being undersized, I don't want to give him a high score on the frame, but it's really like, I like it for some reason, even though statistically it's not really, I think I just put in the numbers and he's something like 20 percentile in terms of size. But of course there's some like outliers that just completely skew that like Darnell, Darnell Washington being like seven feet, 300 pounds or whatever, and run a four, three. <laughs> I mean, you see how massive Darnell Washington is. Whole every time I see him, it's like he's playing a different sport. Let's see that. Looks good, man. I was about to say it looks slow, but I forgot. I just watched friggin' Adunze and Malik Neighbors, so. I mean, for a tight end, it looks really good. Because I was using them as my, my frame of reference, but it's obviously a different position. I mean, he's... You know, he's 6'4", but he looked like 6'6 on that play. That play also, like, you you can see his arms aren't really, like, when you're looking at a tight end, you kind of want that, that wide, uh, what, what do they call it? Not sphere of influence, but, um, you know, catch radius. And he doesn't have that. Which is the knock on him, I think. Like, you look at some of these guys in the NFL, it's like all over the place how how long they are. He's not long by any means, but... He's built, though. We're going to see a single blocking highlight today. Please. You know, guys as prolific as this, it's going to be hard to find them because they're just going to be putting all their, their stuff. I might just look up Brock Bauer's high, uh, blocking highlight tape, see if they got anything. I mean, he just outran a, a corner right there. Like, that's crazy. Look at that. Like I get it. Kent State, whatever. It's a man playing safety. And he just flew by him. Damn, right there. Jesus. You know, he looks like a receiver in, I don't want to say tight end's body because I said he's small, but he moves like he's a, a slot receiver, but. These all look like they're from last year. Like, these highlights. I know he's, he's he's been a bit hurt. That's another thing I haven't really been considering is, is, is injury history, but that's something we can worry about down the line when we start actually projecting where these guys are going. Right now, I'm just looking at them as, like, a, a prospect, I guess. Like, I think there are legitimate concerns about his 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 build because, I mean, his arms look really short.
Now, enough to drop him out of the first round? Hell no. Probably still going to be top 15 pick. All right, he looks really slow here, but I think that's the... I'm pretty sure that's the video. <laughs> I've been catfished one or two times. But like right here is another one. I'm pretty sure this video is sped up. No shit, it's not. Eh? Yeah, it is. Some kids will just... They'll like increase their video speed by a play and a half. Or a, a time and a half. And they'll think they get away with it, but you can like see the clock in the frame, and it's like moving like twice the size, twice the speed it's supposed to. Like they're trying to make themselves look faster. I'm like, well, that's why you got no offers. Yeah, this video is getting whack. It's all the speeds messed up here. I was able to find a, just a minute. Just going to add another minute of him blocking here. This is fall ball sports. Like, he's strong. Like, that's one thing. Like, with the smaller build, like I said, he's just as strong. But he's he's got that real compact build that you see him run through, guys. But he can just demolish it. Oh, my God. Again, these are highlights. So, you kind of have to grade on a curve in that aspect. But. He, he is real strong. Like, he's not a guy that's, like, undersized, like, and is going to be a liability and can't play in line. He almost used it to his advantage because of how low he is. All right, I think, I think we got a good general understanding of his game. I'm glad I was able to find that last one there. Just going into his frame. Yeah, I was thinking about giving him he's six like i said he's built pretty well i'm gonna give him an average you know against against uh, knowing i shouldn't be giving him that i should athleticism you know this is graded on a curve again obviously i'm doing it in terms of the position i gotta give him a six in athlete i mean this is a guy that's gonna run a four six four five at you know he's still six four which is still you know large human being you know he'd probably dwarf any of us just seeing him uh, yeah, give him five on strength. His ball skills are good, obviously limited by his, his catch radius, but I mean, there's still, he still looks like a receiver. And then, yeah, just give him a good grade here. Yeah. Dog is just general. Um, I, I couldn't really think of any other better term, just general like aggressiveness because sometimes you'll watch offensive linemen and they're just, they don't finish. So it's more of how they finish blocks. Uh, you know, yeah, didn't get to watch a whole lot of him blocking, but just knowing that, you know, watched him throughout the years. I'll just give him a five in that aspect. Um, I think I feel good about everything here. I mean, he's he's a pretty damn good prospect. I mean, definitely a top 15 guy I would consider if I needed a tight end. But, yeah, obvious, um, I think warranted concerns about his size. I might actually give him a six in strength because he's pretty damn strong. But... I understand the concerns, believe me, because it's the NFL. Like, you, you have to be fast and you have to be big. So, but he's at least fast. So, we'll see how it works out. Um, See if the medical stuff clears. I'm pretty sure he was, like, a game-time decision in the Florida State game at the end of the year. So, I don't think there's anything that lingering. And he just ended up not playing because there was, like, 50 FSU players out. But, yeah, we'll... we'll um, We'll see. Appreciate it.